Hello everybody, Steve Politi, James Cratch. We're here at Radio Row at Super Bowl 51. Behind us, you see all of the action, people talking a lot of football. This is, you know, that, that's what we do here. We just talk football. Football guys talking, oh, and gals talking about football. So let's do it. Let's talk some football here. I thought it'd be cool. This is a very Jersey Super Bowl. It sounds very like Jersey. a Christmas carol. A very Jersey Super Bowl. We've got a lot of guys here from the state. Uh, who do you think, if you had to pick one guy from Jersey who's going to make the biggest impact, which one's going to be? It's going to be kind of boring. I think a lot of people are going to say this, but I, it's got to be Mohamed Sanu. I mean, you figure Bill Belichick is going to take away Julio Jones from the Falcons. That's kind of what he does in these games. He takes away the best player when he faces a prolific offense. So that would lead you to believe that Mohamed Sanu, number two receiver on the Falcons, will be open a lot on Sunday, have a chance to make big plays. He's already had a big postseason keep that going. But again, that's the kind of conventional wisdom thing. You're that's the CW guys. way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a little different. Diff different wrinkle. Uh, how about a guy like Dan Quinn? <laughs> he's, the coach, he's the coach of the Falcons. I think he's he's a guy who's been on this stage before. He's not he's not going to be overwhelmed by the bright lights. He's a, I think he's an excellent football coach, excellent X, X is an O guy, and I love the way the way he's got this team this Falcons team playing. So I'm going to take the coach head coach Marstown native Dan Quinn on that. The other side of it, let's go with which guy is going to be the biggest bust. I think had a really big two weeks. Everyone was writing about him. I think Chris Hogan, and not not anything against Chris Hogan, but this this Patriots offense that changes every week. It's so chameleon like. I can see Chris Hogan coming out and having two catches for twelve yards. Right, right. after all the attention, after he got. all the attention he got, just because that's how the Patriots yes. work. Guys go up, they go down, they have different roles each week. So I'll say Chris Hogan. I think that he will not have. 180 yards and two touchdowns again. He will not have two weeks of features written about him. After this game. I, I, I'm going to go with the Patriots. I'm going to go with Logan Ryan just because of the fact he might be locked up with his former roommate Muhammad Sanu. And if that's the case, you know, I just think it's a physical mismatch for Ryan. Uh, the Patriots secondary has been very good this postseason. Three ruck, three interceptions for Rutgers guys in the same half of a game. I get that, but I tell you, I, I just it's so hard to cover all those weapons in that Falcons offense. And I just think that if it is, if they do put the attention on. Julio Jones, like you would expect they would, you're going to have a guy like Logan Ryan who can be exposed against a physical receiver. Like that is a tough matchup for him. I think it's a good one. But I just, I think Hogan had a great run. Still at, you know, obviously he's a main player in his offense, but something tells me he kind of has a modest game. So. We will find out. Steve Politi, Kratz, signing off from the Super Bowl. Thanks for watching.